Hello friends, welcome. Now in this video I want to protect routes. We are logged in as moderator and the moderator I want just to visit the boss. The user who has the role admin can visit permission, roles and users. And also the writer, the user who has the role writer can visit the boss. So for that we can use the roles. If you go to the Laravel permission package and in the basic usage, go to the using middleware. You can use also the permissions, but uh, I think we have added only the role middleware in the project. So if I open the VS code and here, let's open the kernel PHP. And yeah, here we have added only the role in the middleware aliases. Today's video is brought to you by Cloudways, a managed cloud hosting platform for PHP based applications. So we have a WordPress, Magento, Laravel and PHP. Cloudways takes over all server management and security hassles to let you solely focus on your business. Their custom stack provides performance boost, managed backups that keep your app safe and a staging environment that let you test code without breaking live sites. Plus, pre-configured Composer and integrated GI make deployments a breeze and you get a choice between five top cloud providers including DigitalOcean, Vulture, Linode, WSL and GCI. With Cloudways, you not only get flexibility but peace of mind. So if you are an agency or an e-commerce store owner, Cloudways is a great fit for all your managed hosting requirements. Don't forget to use promo code link in description. So with that now let's open here the web routes. And as I said, the, ro uh, the user's roles and permissions, I want only the admin, the user who has the admin role can visit them. So let's cut them and let's navigate here when we have this route lower out and the role admin and paste that inside and also all the others here and paste it inside here okay so now we are inside this and also let's give the, all of them a prefix so let's say prefix here and the prefix is going to be slash admin so this means that this one we just can say slash. Good. Now if I go here and the refresh, let's see the permissions. User does not have the right roles, roles and users. Okay. Now the moderator can see as I said only the boss. And let's now for the boss where we have the post here, let's cut this and I'm going to add it add it right here and I'm going to add the middleware directly in here so let's say middleware and for this one I want as I said the role who has the user who has the role admin can access that but not only admin also the moderator and the writer and we can use the pipe here so you, you go scroll down yeah we can use the pipe and add another role. The same for permissions. So let's say role admin or moderator or uh, writer. Like this. And if I save, okay, now let's go here. We are moderator, we can visit that. Let's log out and let's uh, log in as admin. Admin example, add a password. Let's navigate here. And yeah, the admin can see the users, roles, and permissions. And yeah, we are in the admin. Now, if I go to the post, also the post. Let's log out and let's log in with the writer just to test this. Example.com, add the password. Go to the post and yeah, we can see the post, but not the permission and not the roles. Good. The, the first thing I want here is to protect this, the show and hide this based on the roles the user has. So let's navigate, let's close this and let's open the authenticated layout. 
here we have the link for the admin and also the link for the posts for the admin we say v if has role admin so we imported here the use permission and just distract the has role from the use permission composable but for the posts we need to check based on the multiple roles so let's open the permissions uh, permissions here and we have the method has role as permission and we need also one more for the multiple roles so let's create that let's say constant has roles and here we need an array of names and also this is going to be an arrow function and I'm going to copy this and paste it here and instead of includes now I want to uh, use the sum method and here say name and if the names array we have here if in this names array includes the name it's going to return true like this and let's return also this method so as roles and let's save let's go now to the authenticated layout and also disrupt the as multiple roles and use that here okay now let's copy this and paste it right right here and say not has a role but has roles and also not only one but admin or the moderator or the writer and let's save and let's see now on the browser yeah we have the post here because we are a writer let's navigate good now if I log out and log in as a user regular user let's say user example of the password say login yeah we don't see that and also if we navigate to the post we have user does not have the right roles very good now let's do this log out and let's log in with the moderator okay now let's navigate to the post when we navigate to the post I want to hide the user roles and permissions if the user has not uh, the admin role so for that let's go we need to navigate in the admin layout and here let's import import the use permission okay and and let's create here constant to distract what we want we want just the has role as role from the use permission good now let's use that has role when we have the sidebar links here is the dashboard this is for the users and to this one I'm going to say or we can say to all of three together so here is the first one second for the roles and here is for the permissions so I'm going to cut the three here and say template v if if the user has role admin just the admin and let's close now and paste all the links and let's save that 
come here as you can see we have only the post dashboard go to post go to dashboard and go to the post good if i log out and log in as admin example add the password say login navigate the admin and we have all of them and that's it about this video friends please like the video and subscribe to my channel see you in the next one all the best friends